State of the Nation with Zororo Makamba. Zimbabwe has just come out of a tough year. The year 2020 is promising its own drama, from the politics, the economy, to what's happening in our local communities. We all have things that we want to see change this year. So, what do we want to see happening in 2020? Let's take a look in this week's State of the Nation. This year, we want to demand better for every government department. We want to offer alternative solutions. We want to be part of solving what's broken around us. So, let's get straight into it. From the Minister of Finance, this is what we want to see. Number one, more policy consistency. 2020 will be a big year for the Ministry of Finance. This February, the IMF will give their report on the Staff Monitored Program. This will give us a clue as to how Zimbabwe is doing in terms of re-engaging with the world. In 2018, Finance Minister Mtuli Nube launched the Transitional Stabilization Program, the TSP. 2020 is the year in which the TSP is supposed to end. Remember, it was meant to run between October 2018 and December 2020. Policy consistency is one of the biggest targets. This is what the TSP says it wants to do. Avoidance of arbitrary policy reversals, absence of contradictory policy pronouncements, and misinterpretations of different agencies of the state. Now, this past year has seen a lot of tough policy decisions being made. We want to believe that now we've done the hard part about the reforms. So let's stick to what we say we want to do. We need a long period of consistency so that people can start having confidence again. People need to be able to plan without being scared that something big will change overnight. Number two, we want to see promises being kept on privatization. Well, why is this important? 107, that's the number of state-owned enterprises we have. 2%. That's how much they're contributing to the economy. Now, back in the day, they used to contribute 40%. This is why we need to see faster action on this promise. Now, over the last couple of years, we've seen some changes. The Procurement Regulatory Authority of Zimbabwe came into effect. The Public Entities Corporate Governance Act became law. And recently, together with the African Development Bank, Zimbabwe started on an 11.6 million US dollar program to upgrade Zimra's tax management. These are good steps to make our parastatals more accountable. Number three. On our finance wish list, better communication. Now, take it from the UN and the World Bank. This is what they are saying about the reforms in Zimbabwe. Real change requires time and concerted effort. A deliberate communication strategy is recommended from the outset to ensure that the wider public is aware of the progress, including in areas that might be less visible in the short term. Is anybody listening? We really hope so. Now let's continue with our wish list, this time from the Minister of Justice. No more catch and release. That's our biggest wish. Oh, don't take it from us. Take it from Chief Justice Luke Malaba himself. This is what he said when he opened the legal year in January. Weak prosecution cases must not be brought into court. That scenario lends credence to the notorious accusations of catch and release coined by some sections of society. We agree, my lord. We want to see the National Prosecuting Authority building better cases. And what's happening with the special unit in the president's office? In 2020, let's see them getting busy. The government has also secured some funding from AFDB to support the Auditor General's office. That's a good move. We said that the AG needs more teeth. It's good to see something finally being done about that. The Ministry of Health is on our wish list too. The strike has gone on for far too long. We hope to see more dialogue to end it. The government says it will work with the private sector to invest more in health infrastructure. Well, let's see this happening really quick. To the Ministry of Transport, here's our wish list for the year. Now, it's been over a year since Zupco came back on our roads. Starting from zero, Zupco now operates 500 buses. That's its own buses and those on franchise. Zupco is making about 500,000 urban journeys a day. It has created 1,500 jobs this past year. That's some great progress. Now, here's what we want to see in 2020. We want to see a more formal urban transport system plan. Yes, Zupco is helping hundreds of thousands of people get to work. But we need a more sustainable model this year. The good news is that Zupco plans to increase its fleet by four times this year. There are already plans for a local assembly plant as well. That's the sort of progress we will be watching out for. And please, can we finally make a good deal for the NRZ? This has gone on for far too long. We need our railways back. Oh, and one other thing we wish for? No more headlines promising us that work is starting on the Bite Bridge Highway. Who isn't tired of those? Let 2020 be the year that we see some real work going on. We've lost far too many lives on that road. We need to see action. And on to agriculture. This will be a tough year for the ministry. The rains haven't been that great. In fact, according to the UN, the region has seen the worst drought in almost 40 years. 
We can't do much about the rains, but what we can do is prepare better. This is why you want to see more from the Ministry of Agriculture this year. Climate change isn't going away anytime soon. We need more education for our farmers on how to harvest the little water that we get. We need more investment in irrigation. Under the 2020 budget, the government is funding irrigation for 200 hectares per district irrigation. $422 million has been set aside for this program. That's a good start. Let's build more on top of that. The appointment of 33-year-old John Baseda as permanent secretary late last year from the private sector was widely applauded and all eyes will be on him to make sure our agriculture wishes come true. Home Affairs, here's our wish list for you. Look, for all of our problems, we've always had one thing going for us, very little crime. This is the stuff that we saw in other countries, but now it looks like this is changing and it's kind of scary. We want to see the ZRP being more proactive in fighting crime. It's getting out of hand. The ZRP has recently launched one of the biggest operations against machete gangs. We've seen courts sentencing some of these guys really quickly. This is all we asked for in 2020. Swift action, swift justice. Your credibility as a police force is under threat. And here is our wish for us. The citizens, it's time to become more engaged a bit more than we have been. We cannot leave everything to the politicians. We too have a duty. It's a duty to keep our leaders on their toes and to be more involved in making our communities better. Our councils are a mess right now, but where we can, let's see what we can do to help. Now we can go on and on and on. Our wish list is too long. Basically, all we want is for us to do better. 2019 was a year of sacrifice. Let's hope 2020 is the year where we begin to feel the benefits. We need to build on what has been done now and to make our country work better for everyone.